Yo, yo, what's good? What's good, people? How y'all doing out there? It's your boy Kelvin behind the bench. Big shout out to everyone out there. Hope y'all blessed. Shout out to uh, Jermaine, JB, Rashad. Check out their videos. Like, share, and subscribe as we uh, continue to grow the channel. Okay, Draymond Green, uh, he had an incident last night uh, in the Phoenix Suns game. The Warriors lost. I think it was 109, 106, I believe. Or something like that. I'm not sure. They lost. During the game, Draymond Green, he flailed his arm, turned and hit uh, Nurkic, hit him in the face, got a flagrant foul, got ejected, and the Warriors lost. Now, of course, we know this is the second time Draymond Green has had an incident this year where he's got into, last time it was Rudy Gobert, he choked him. Got ejected. I think the Warriors lost that game also. So, you know, I, I, I don't feel sorry for the Warriors organization because what has happened is the Warriors organization enabled Draymond Green to continue to do this nonsense. You see, if they had some real leaders and real leadership in their organization, they would have put a stop to Draymond Green's uh, antics Years ago. Years ago. See, I don't know if y'all remember, but years ago, Draymond Green got into an incident with Steve Kerr in the locker room. They got into a, a shouting match or whatever. He disrespects Steve Kerr and, and cussed him out and all that type stuff. And the Warriors let him get away with that nonsense. Which was, was led to more incidents, more incidents, more incidents. We know the Steven Adams incident where he kicked that dude there. Uh, what else happened? He cussed out Kevin Durant. It's ultimately caused Kevin Durant to leave. He hit Jordan Poole. Uh, and it has been going on and on and on. But this is what happens when you have a coach like Steve Kerr who's an enabler. And he instills no discipline on the team. See, if you let one guy get away with it, next thing you know, everybody else going to start doing it, you know. But you didn't stop this nonsense a long time ago. See, if you had a real leader, like a Pat Riley coaching that team, that shit would have stopped a long time ago. If Phil Jackson was coaching the team or Mark Jackson, they would have stopped that nonsense a long time ago. Why? Why? Because they commanded respect. They were real men. They were real leaders of the team. And they wouldn't allow no nonsense. They wouldn't allow no foolishness and disrespect. To them and the team. Especially a guy who's supposed to be the so-called one of the leaders of the team. Draymond Green to me has been going downhill. This is just to me. Since that game seven. In the 2016 finals when they played the Cavs. He played that great game. He had the game of his life. He had the series of his life other than getting suspended. Okay. And I know, yes, when they formed the super team, he made a few other all-star teams or whatever. But his game has declined. Especially on the offensive end and his shooting. It's declined, declined, declined over the years. He's not able to shoot free throws. He can't knock down open shots. Half the time, he can't make layups or nothing like that. So what has happened is the Warriors are getting old. It's putting more pressure on Steph Curry. They have to generate and create the offense because Draymond Green is a liability when he's on the court. So now the trouble that he's been causing is outweighing his effectiveness on the court. You see, they should have got rid of him years ago. But when you got an enabler like Steve Kerr, who won't, who wasn't patient with James Wiseman, y'all should have been more patient and developed him. And Steve Kerr has done a bad job with developing Moses Moody and Kaminga. I know they're coming in playing a little bit now, but they should be further along than what they are. And you being more loyal to a fool like Draymond Green, this is what you. This is what happens. And Draymond Green is kind of a microcosm of society. 
I don't know Draymond Green's personal life, but I'm just going to say this. It, it goes back to, you know, a lot of these cats that's coming up, growing up in these single mother households, and these moms are enabling them, and they don't have fathers around. They don't have any discipline and real leadership in their household. And they coddle them and let them get away with stuff over and over and over and over again. And what happens? It leads into a big incident. The next thing you know, that child that you raised and you've been coddling, he end up in jail or, you know, or a long prison sentence. Or he might end up dead. You know, and this is what happened when you have no true men, no real leaders in the household. And the household here in the sports analogy is the organization and your coach. No real men, no real leaders to stop, put a stop to Draymond Green nonsense five or six years ago. All y'all been doing is babying him. You accept his weak ass apologies and he do the shit over and over and over again. And see, Draymond Green don't have no respect for Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr don't command respect. That's the reason why when he on the court, he laughing and kicking up, going over there playing with LeBron and laughing and all that type of stuff. This dude got more loyalty to the clutch than he has to Steve Kerr and the Warriors organization. He does. And what happens? Y'all reward him with a brand new $100 million contract that y'all stuck with like some dummies. The perfect example of enabling a fool. And then it goes up to Adam Silver. He does the same thing with the whole NBA. He let the inmates run the asylum. He baby the players. Let's spread the schedule out. Let's change the all-star game and all this nonsense. Uh, John Morant do foolish stuff. Other players do foolish stuff. And it just leads to more nonsense and more chaos. Bad leadership, man. Bad leadership all across the board. So part of this is on Steve Kerr. You don't command respect. You, sh you should have put that fool in check a long time ago. And if he wouldn't have got in line, y'all should have cut him, traded him, or whatever years ago. Years ago. If y'all would have stopped that back then, you wouldn't have incidents now. But it's your fault, Steve Kerr, because you're an enabler, you're a clown. You're not a leader. And this is why Draymond Green continues to do nonsense after nonsense after nonsense. And this won't be the last time. He gave a fake apology. He might get suspended or whatever a few games. He'll come back. He'll be good for a few games. And then another incident happened. And the next time it's going to be worse. He might injure somebody in their career might be old. Or he might start a brawl or something. It's just going to get worse and worse and worse. You see it, it got worse every time. We started with uh, the argument, the Stephen Adams stuff. He caught you all the title. He cussed out Kevin Durant. He hit a teammate, Jordan Poole. He choked out uh, Gobert. He damn near uh, hit the dude's eye out, Nurkic's eye out. It's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. The nonsense needs to stop now. Steve Kerr, he's supposed to be a man. He's supposed to be a leader. You need to put a stop to this now. Suspend that clown for 50 games. Yeah, I said 50 games without pay. And maybe he'll get the message. Or it might be too late at this point. I don't know. I heard Two Raw, I heard his video and other uh, content creators. They said 20, 25 games. No, 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 man. It need to be much steeper than that. A message need to be sent to this clown. It stops now. Or you going to be out the league. We'll pay you. We'll pay you the rest of the contract because legally we have to pay you. But you're not going to be playing for us. You're going to be at home. We'll send you money. We'll pay you. But you're not going to be playing. It stops now. Stiff, hard punishment 
Now, 50 games, I don't care if y'all lose all 50. You got to get the discipline and the leadership back right with the Warriors organization now. Otherwise, this is just going to continue. 50 games without pay, get your ass home, and maybe you'll get the message. That's just me, though. That's just me. They ain't going to do nothing. He'll be back. Same old nonsense. But that's all I want to say, man. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out.